Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Mazur again. Um, today I'm going to read you a story about busy people construction workers. This week we've been learning more about community helpers and this book is going to teach us a little bit about construction workers. It's written by Lucy M. George, an Ando twin. Mark is a construction worker. He's helping the Shines build an extension on their house. Mark will work closely with Lauren, the architect, to make sure the extension is built to plan. The signs have to move out of the house while the work is happening. They move into the trailer in the backyard. They want to be back in the house before winter because the trailer is small and a bit cold. It's time for Mark to get to work. He makes calls and orders all the materials he will need. First, the old walls are knocked down with a big bulldozer. Then some new foundation are dug out by using a strong digger. A dump truck carries all the rubble and earth away. Finally, the ground is flattened with a heavy roller. Next, the materials arrive on a big delivery truck. Mark checks his list. That's everything. Thanks, he says to the driver. The bricklayer builds new walls. He fetches cement from the mixer to stick the bricks together then fixes the fo thick foam called insulation to the bricks and builds another wall. The insulation will keep the house warm in the winter and cool in the summer. Now that the walls are built, the roof goes on. The roofer has to be very careful in case a tile slips. Everyone wears a hard hat for safety. The carpenter fits the new window and doors. Soon the house will be weatherproof. The children wait from the trailer. They can't wait to move into their back into their house. The next big job is to fix the solar panel onto the roof. A big truck reverses down the lane, but then stops. Oh no! The truck won't fit. The lane is too narrow, Millie, the driver shouts. Millie has a plan. She drives off in her truck, then comes back with a grabber truck. It has a strong arm to lift the solar panels onto the roof. Hooray! Everyone cheers! Next, the plastier comes from the plasters on the wall. The electrician installs the light in the electrical power system. The plumber fits the new heating system and hot water. Finally, the decorating team paint and lay the new floor. It's just starting to rain when Mark calls, Come into the house! It's ready! Wow! The children shout. It's amazing. Mark is happy that the family likes the house. He puts on his raincoat and says goodbye. He's got another job to go to. What else does Mark do? He plans and gives advice on building projects. He puts scaffolding to fix leaking roofs and chimneys. He builds brand new houses and he mends or replaces broken windows. What does Mark need? A hard hat for safety. A spade, a bucket, strong boots, bricks, sand, cement mixer, toolbox, tools, and a trowel. Other busy people. Here are some other busy people who work in construction. Architects draw up detailed plans for buildings. They have to imagine every little detail before the building even exists. A digger driver has to be very careful with their big heavy machinery to make sure they dig up the right things. Electricians look after all the wiring, lighting, and power on building project. Electricity can be dangerous, so they have special training to make sure everything they do is safe. And plumbers fit the pipes for hot and cold water for the heating. They fit boilers and fit sinks and taps. Boys and girls, construction workers are just one of the many people that can help in our community. Talk with your moms and dads about all the people that you see in your community and have fun learning more about community workers and helpers.